Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for the end of November. It is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, guys, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy, as well as the near future. And then we'll take a peek at your person's energy and your energy and see what's going on there. So if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings. That info's in the description box below the um, video or in my about section on my channel. All right, so let's see what's going on. We've got the Knight of Pentacles that flew out in the reverse. So you may feel like something's at a standstill right now. This could be about your career where you feel like you're kind of stuck. Maybe it doesn't seem like it's gonna be going up or down or maybe even money. It just seems to be stable, but not necessarily going in either direction. So let's see what else comes out for you. All right, one more cut. So this is the recent past. And then we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, which could be creating a little bit of stress. It seems to be throwing you a little bit off your game. Maybe you just have some questions about worth and maybe at times your thought process goes into can I actually do this and it's creating a lot of or it did create a lot of stress in the recent past <clears throat> so I think spirit's going to want you to focus on not thinking about the things that went wrong in the past but focusing on how you can change uh, taking what you've learned and basically yeah because there's your card the sun card when you realize what truly makes you happy, it opens up the doors. It relaxes you into the energy and allows you to focus on what really makes you happy versus what's going to be the most successful. Because at times you get stuck because you forget about what makes you happy and you start going towards the things that drive you. And maybe even if sometimes insecurities about past failures or things that just didn't work out that causes too much stress and then you get stuck in your head about what you want to do next or how to take the next step forward. So let's take a peek at the rest of this. All right, so we have the sun, the hangman, the king of swords, and then in the near future, see, because you're about to go through another big transformation. You could have felt this. I mean, it's Scorpio energy that or you could be dealing with the Scorpio. And then we have the six of pentacles in reverse with the king of, yeah. This is an energy of releasing someone who's, this is my my term because I deal with it a lot. And narcissism is prevalent in the spiritual journey. This is somebody who definitely uh, created instability in your life, but you're changing from that. You're pulling away from that energy. So the overall energy is the Six of Cups in reverse. All right. So the King of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Wands, all representing a lot of overwhelming stress, feeling a little bit insecure, not quite sure where things are going to go. But in the near future or in the current energy, you're actually coming to a place where you start to see how things open up. When you take a step back and you take a breath and you don't let your mind get the best of you, especially if you're expecting things to be a certain way right now and they're not there and you're frustrated. This says that you can find that joy. You can find that happiness. We're all so busy trying to get where we're going that we forget to live. Not that we can't enjoy the moment at moments, but I feel like there's more pressure in the universe with um, the changes that we're having astrologically asking us to really look at our lives and say, what am I happy about right now? What can I enjoy in this moment that isn't going to have me in my head always thinking about either the things I can't control from the past or what's happening in the future that hasn't happened yet? PMA, present moment awareness. I'm going to bring it up in every video when it seems to want to come up because that seems to be the lesson that Spirit wants me to keep pushing out there. It's like just be where you are. Even with things being frustrating at times, they're not the way they used to be. Maybe you've lost a lot in your life and it's really frustrating and you're at a place where you're like, this is bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to say it like I feel it. And you want to cut through all that and you just want to get to the place where you feel joy again. I completely understand, but you're being held back for a second. 
so that you can recognize that no, things aren't perfect. Yes, we've all had failures and it doesn't mean that you yourself are. It just is a part of your spiritual journey. It's a part of your growth. And yes, growing pains are called growing pains for a reason. It doesn't matter how old you are. We always continue to learn. I know that sounds like repetitive, but it seems like spirit's trying to get your attention and ask you to really focus on being okay with you, where you are, because this is creating way too much stress for you. So we'll clarify all of this in just a moment. Now in the near future, big transformations. This is a shift. I feel like you're shedding kind of an old version of yourself and you're getting into a mode where you realize you can't constantly, a lot of people who watch me will, will say this about every sign. All of you guys are kind of going through the same thing where you're learning how not to give so much of yourself and balance things back out. So that's going to be the change is realizing that in order for you to feel good about where you are and get ahead, you can't constantly be giving to other people, whether it be financially of your energy, because how are you going to spend your energy doing the things that you really enjoy that could create abundance or well-being if you're constantly being yanked at by other people and their needs. So I feel like that's the shift that's happening. It's going to be probably a process. I don't know that it's going to happen overnight, but I also feel like you had somebody that was very difficult in your life that was not either emotionally or intimately available. And I don't mean sex. This is someone who's closed off, doesn't know really how to connect. And maybe at times you felt like you were as well because we've got you both in the reverse. So you could feel estranged from a partner right now if you're still in a relationship and you're trying to find a way to push things forward. You're not maybe not sure about how this is going to go. There is a lot of change that's happening, but balance has to happen first. So each of you needs to understand what each person brings to the table and then be relaxed in the energy. Now that I've gotten to the place that I am, and some of you may relate, I have a hard time understanding why if two people want to be together, why is there so much the why there's so many issues? But I know it's because you have to learn the lessons. In this case, I'd say I think you need to ask yourself, why are you fighting so hard? If this isn't working and there isn't balance and the, the change isn't gonna happen, then you have a really tough decision to make. Now, the stress is not worth it. For some of you, it could be other reasons why you stay but I just feel like the clarity is coming to you and if you don't follow through with that you could find yourself really stuck but in the current energy it looks good so I'm not going to say that you're going to stay there I think you're really going to go through the change all right let's go ahead and clarify the knight of pentacles with the queen of wands in reverse I just feel like you, I feel a sense of, I feel held back. And then we have the seven of cups. Like you don't have options. Maybe that's the thing is that you feel like you can't get out of a situation because you don't have other options. We always have other options. Sometimes if we quiet our minds, we can hear those options. When we're so stressed out and we're constantly in our head or all we're doing is reviving, reviving or reliving all of the things that we had already experienced it blocks out those messages that Spirit's trying to get us to see. See, and then the Wheel of Fortune comes through. So that's massive change in the right direction. And although it could feel a little bit scary or stressful right now, you're about to shift into something that's going to bring you the joy that you are looking for. So if you feel a little held back, I'd say just give it a little bit of time because it seems like as you're going into the current energy, you're going to find the clarity that you need when you take a step back. All right. So the sun and hanged man, we have the ace of swords. So it's coming, but right now it still feels a tad bit foggy. Maybe you're waiting on, this feels like somebody else's energy that may be approaching you. Someone that has a clear message, I want to say, but right now you haven't gotten that little bit of information. Could it be someone responding to a job interview? Absolutely. Whoever this person is, they're going to come in and let you know, they're going to give you an answer soon. I'm not getting a specific answer right now. That would require a personal reading. But it does feel like somebody's going to come in and let you know, and it's not going to be that far off. So your current energy feels like 
there's clarity coming. The Hanged Man and the King of Swords. Yes, the Two of Pentacles. So this is going to help you find that balance that you're looking for. And I do feel this is around a work situation, a project, something you're working on that brings you a lot of joy. And that's going to make major changes. This is what's going to help shift everything. And then we have the Death card with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And there you are, the Queen of Swords. So whoever this is, I don't necessarily feel like this is two people that are partners. This could be someone in your family. I just heard a brother um, that is helpful to you. That's going to only be for a few of you. Or just a family member that's close that has uh, your best interest at heart. But this is you really cutting through any kind of BS and realizing that things have to balance out. So if there are people that are around you or issues that keep popping up for you, that's clearing your head. She doesn't really want to be bogged down with things. Her energy is it's so pretty with all the birds and the cat. It's like, I just want clarity. I don't want to be all foggy. See how there's the sky behind her. It's almost like that's relieving from her brain. Like she doesn't want to stay in that place. And then we have the seven of wands, right? Um, there might be a little bit of a fear of being vulnerable, especially if you've been dealing with somebody that was really difficult in the past that wore on you, that really, um, I want to say this person had a tendency to just kind of pull you down energetically. So here, I feel like once you get to this place where your head's clear, then you can open back up. That's also going to be a part of this change. And especially when you cut people off that have been yanking at your energy for a really long time. Let's look at the Six of Pentacles with the King of Wands. I think you might have been dealing with somebody who has a tendency to go back and forth with their energy as well. Okay, so that was the Nine of Wands. Here's the Seven of Wands. That's actually what I thought that was. And we were talking about the vulnerability. So the Nine of Wands in reverse is, that's our Wounded Warrior. So this is someone who's learned a lot of lessons. There are still some lessons that feel like they need to be learned so that you're not carrying them with you. I think this is really about you releasing things that you've been holding on to. Things that either really hurt, and I know that's easier said than done. They are our experiences, but we don't have to relive them in our brain all the time. I know it's hard, but that's what I feel like is happening is you're just reliving things that were difficult and you're going to shift out of it because you are right there. Now, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Leo, Leo Sag Aries I have, a lot of fire here. That's primarily what I have. Even if you are dealing with somebody else, it doesn't matter. But those are the primary energies. All right, so I'm going to clear this and we'll get into whoever's on your mind. So think about them for just a moment. Yeah, see, then the King of Swords is what is sitting right on top when I gather the cards, which I thought for some reason lately I find that this is an important card. It means that you're coming to a place where not only is your head going to be clear, you're going to be able to tell what people's intentions are. When you clear out all of that stuff that bogs you down and stresses you out, it helps you see your surroundings much clearer. And I think that's the place you're going to be coming to. There, It's like nothing's going to be held back anymore. You're not going to be blindsided or have any kind of illusions about who people are and what they bring into your life. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and we'll see what's going on with you and your person. This is for Leo. All right, so we have the Page of Swords. There's somebody who's definitely keeping an eye on you. Uh, if you have a sense that this person watches you often, uh, whether you're with them or not, they do. The Four of Cups, it's like there's a part of them that just doesn't trust I want to say that. This person has trust issues. The King of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, they're still carrying a lot of things from the past that they can't let go of. And for you, oof, okay. It looks like at some point you were done. Okay, this is kind of confusing energy. Here you are showing up in your own energy again. Two of Swords says you're really conflicted about this. Like part of you may feel really betrayed and the other part of you can't decide whether you want to walk away or not. It's like it makes you happy at times, but you want to walk away. Very confusing energy. The Empress in reverse. So two people who are not really feeling like themselves, it, it feels like a bit of 
both worn down. Now, this person may not be present in your life. Choose which it is, whether they're in your life or they're not. They're watching you. So they watch your every move. I feel like they're insecure. They have a tendency to not pay attention to what it is that you actually bring into the relationship. Mm, I feel like you're dealing with a narcissist. Um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who always holds back. I feel like this person could even, if you have financial dealings with this person, I feel like they're hiding money. And then the nine of wands in reverse, very insecure. Has, this person has a lot of issues, a lot of childhood wounds, a lot of things that they've been through that stay with them. They haven't been able to release it because if it were in the upright, I'd say they've worked out their stuff. And they've gotten through it. But in this case, mm -mm, you're dealing with somebody who's really, really insecure. And that could be why you constantly feel betrayed and abandoned. If you're dealing with someone who's got those tendencies, it can make it really difficult. Because one minute they may seem like the love of your life. And the next minute, you're like, who are you? You're dealing with somebody who's just completely erratic. So I think at times you're done. But other times you're like... I just want to be happy, so I don't know what to do. If you haven't fully walked away from the energy, regardless of your if you're physically with them now, I feel like there's a part of you that questions whether you should or not. It definitely does not feel like you're in your energy with this particular person. It's almost like they, they pull away or suck away your energy. That's what I feel like I want to say. Is there an energy vampire maybe? You know what I'm talking about. It's so hard because with people like this, you can love them deeply and at the same time know that they are not good for you. All right. Hold on. Sorry. Cards flipped out. All right. I'm going to take the ones that flew out. So it says true love. There is a, This is the romance of a lifetime. You may feel like that with this person, but it may be, unfortunately, a little bit of an illusion. Um, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you were guided to take, honeymoon and retreat. Look, if this person is working through their troubles and you're going through a major transformation, is there a possibility? Always. Anything is possible. You know, I don't like when people come in and try to say, oh, well, that's not possible or they can't change. That's true. In some cases, some people will never change. This person may have the ability to so that may be why you're conflicted because you really do love them and at times they make you really happy. So I get it. This is not like a clear cut answer for you. I think there's time to disconnect and really sit back and ask yourself, do I want this anymore? Because it could be destructive and for some of you it could end up being perfectly fine if you work through these issues with each other and support each other. Let's get some advice. This is for Leo. All right. So the advice right now is just to hold, not hold back or pull back your feelings. But with the Ace of Cups is not push things. Really get clarity. Speak up. Speak your truth. Two of Wands, don't focus on the future. And the Moon, make sure there are no secrets. Because right now things are, are really unstable. So this is saying, be honest. If it were in the upright, I'd say there's secrets. This is saying don't focus on the future too much. Think about what's going on right now and just be as clear as you possibly can about what you want in the relationship. Before you start something new, if this is someone from your past, make sure this person is stable because right now it's showing that this, the energy is not. All right, let's see what the lover's oracle says. So we have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend time, some time alone. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Perfect message. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Yes, and I don't mean with an abusive partner. Okay, and then we have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. That's beautiful. You're coming through such an intense time. This could be someone that you have to release from your life as you're going through these changes because you know you're not going to be the same person on the other side of it. And that's really difficult when we love somebody deeply. We want to take everyone with us that we love and we just can't. 
It's not part of the plan. So the universe will find a way to take that person out of our lives if they're not meant to be there. Okay, well, mending. For some of you, it's going to be about trying to find the energy to mend, and then it's clean it up. So some things need to be cleared up for sure with this person. All right, and then we have to be fair. So finding balance between the two of you, that's an 11, which means you could be dealing with a twin flame, no doubt about it. You could have a very up and down and at times, and I don't mean abusive, but volatile relationship. My belief is that one is narcissistic, one is empathic, if you have a twin flame. Now, standing, step back from the situation, and then it's asking you to be flexible. So if you step back and observe it and try to, in a sense, come outside of yourself, if you can just look around you and observe, observe, I can get this out, your surroundings, you may see how things are kind of, um, it's weird. It's like watching a movie, being outside of your own self. It's like a soul that leaves the body and sees everything that goes on right after they pass away. So this is like asking you to step back and look at that. At the same time, remember, things need to be fair for both of you. They need to work out for both of you if you are going to mend this. And then they're asking you to be flexible. So this is all about those new beginnings, that shift again. You're still going through breaking down some old cycles and opening up into something new. A lot of us are shifting that way. It isn't just one sign or the other. So you may, if you check out your other placements, find that there's a lot of that going on. Going into 2022, we're all trying to shed off these old skins so that we can open up into what we're meant to be doing at this point in this new age of Aquarius as we shift. All right, my loves, those were your messages. I hope this helped. Thank you so much again for all of your support, your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you'd like a personal, that's in the description box below the video or in my about section. Hope you have an amazing end of your month and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.